team, we got another problem here. We're moving on in chapter four. This is kind of the very end of chapter four before I switch over and start working on chapter five. This chapter or this section in the chapter is called equivalent systems, okay? There's a few things you ought to know about these equivalent system problems. All we're doing is taking a system like this one that's given and rewriting it in a simpler way, okay? We're, we're just saying, okay, here's one with one, two, three, four on it, forces or, you know, thing, external forces on it. And we want to write it really simply, okay? And I can reduce this from this to a simpler system, and I'm going to get one of two, okay? Number one, they could ask me, reduce it to a force couple system. Which is like a force and a moment, right? So take all of this and take it down to just one force, one moment. I could do that, okay? Or number two, reduce it to a force-only system. Now, I call these system one, system two problems. And if you have to do this guy, force-only, to be honest with you, we're going to have a, uh, we're going to have a system three, okay? Piece of cake, it's very, this is one of the easiest things to do. You'll love this section, okay? So how do you do this, okay? So what do they want to do? Find an equivalent force only system and find where that force's line of action intersects line B, E, so this line right here, uh, measured from point B, okay? So if I'm going to write an equivalent system to this one, what must be true? Well, the sum of the forces in system one have to be equal to the sum of the forces in system two. And if we do a system three, some of the forces in system three, okay? And same for the moments. Some of the moments in system one have to equal the sum of the moments in system two equals the sum of the moments in system three. So if these systems are gonna be equivalent or equal to each other, then this must be true. Well, if that's true, then step one ought to be, let's find about what these things are for system one, the given system, right? So this is system one. Okay? So let me write you a recipe over here, okay? We like a recipe. Step one. Um, sum the forces in the X. Um, sum, let's just leave it there. Sum the forces in the X. Okay, let's do it. Sum of the forces in the X, okay? Biggest mistake I see people making right here equals zero. Then that's what you're going to get on your test is a zero. Okay? On these problems, on the, on the equivalent system problems, if there's one thing I could say, please get this in your head. Please do not set these zero okay do not that is a no-no okay we're just summing the forces in the X they are what they are okay they might be zero I might add them up and get zero but don't force them equal to zero okay don't do that that's a no-no and that's a that's one of the biggest mistakes I see made in this chapter because all the problems we do in the next chapter, start off with that. Some of the forces in the x equals zero. Some of the forces in the y equals zero, right? And then you get to these problems on the test, and you're like, some of the forces equals zero. No, okay? There aren't any reaction forces or anything. We are just taking what's there and adding them up. That's all we're doing, okay? So in the x, I've got what? A hundred. These are in kips, right? These are kips, which is a, a kilopound, right? So a hundred... Uh, what's this guy? Well, he has two components, one here, one here. This component is 200 cos 30, and this component is 200 sine 30. By now, you've learned I'm a real fan of breaking vectors at an angle into components every time, okay? So here we go. So plus 200 cos 30. And then, phew, that one's going in the negative x direction, isn't he? Minus 50, okay? Equals a number, okay? And that number, 
may or may not be zero, but I don't want to make it zero. It is what it is, right? All right, here we go. Clear. All right. So 100 uh, minus 50, could do that one in my head, right? Plus 200 times the cosine of 30. Uh-oh. Let's put the cosine of 309 in my calculator. It was 223.2. And this is in kips. Okay? Guess what step two is? You'll never guess. Some of the forces in the Y. Mm, okay. Some of the forces in the Y direction equals. Here we go. I almost wrote zero. I want to so bad, but it was so wrong. There's just one, isn't there? 200 times the sine of 30. That's it. And 200 times the sine of 30, sine of 30 is a half, equals 100 kips. Okay? Done. Got it. Okay? Now, the next one's a little bit trickier, right? Step three. So, uh oh. I was going to write the word sum, but we have an easier way to do that. Sum the moments about where? The poi. The point of interest. Okay. What the heck is the point of interest? Let's read the problem. Find the forces line of action where it intersects line BE measured from point B. So in this case, point B is our point of interest. That's where we want everything to be focused at is that point they want measured from. So Summing the moments about point B equals, okay? Here we go. Here's point B. So here we go. We got 100, which rotates me negative. So minus 100 times how far away? 3, okay? We got the 200 cos 30, which rotates me negative. So minus 200 cos 30 times how far away? Whoop. Six. Okay. Minus. Oh, what about that guy? 200 sine 30. Let's follow him. Wow. That's a cha-cha force. No moment. Okay. So now we got the 50, which rotates me whoop, positive. Plus 50 times how far away? Three, six, nine. Okay. Anybody else? Oh, look, a burrito force. Have we talked about burrito forces? What is a burrito force? Well, look at that. What's in a burrito? Mmm. All the good stuff, right? A burrito force. We haven't talked about this yet, I don't think. Don't go looking in the book for a burrito force, because I made this up, okay? What's in a burrito? Well, you know what a burrito looks like? Look at that. It looks like a little rolled up thing. Mmm. -mm. And what's in there? All the good stuff, right? What's in a moment? Force and distance. It has force and distance in it, right? Because one of the, this is silly, right? But the very first thing I saw students doing is they would take a moment and then they would multiply it by a distance. And it messed up, right? You can't do that. Because why? Because it's already in there, baby. The distance is already in the burrito. It's there, okay? So the burrito force is easy, right? Because we're writing a moment equation, that's a moment. So let's see, I drew it in a, uh, that's a negative moment, it's clockwise. So just what, here's what you got to do. Minus 300. That's it. Okay. Got to love the burrito force, right? Introduce the burrito force to you today. It's a monumental occasion. You got to go tell everybody you know about the burrito force now, okay? We're going to make it go worldwide. That's a Hanson special. Okay, here we go. So the moment about point B is what? Uh, uh, let's see, negative 300 minus 200 times cosine of 30 times 6 um, plus 450, right, uh, and then minus 300 equals the moment about B is equal to negative 1189.23 and that is in uh that's a 
Kip, kip feet, right? Okay. That's step number three. Now what's next? All right. Step four. Okay, step four says draw new system and then move uh, let's just say above above items to where to the poi okay so this is system one let's draw a system two I hate to do it, but I'm going to erase Burrito Force because I'm going to use this space, okay? Sorry, Burrito Force. Okay, here we go. Bam, bam. Okay? There's system two, okay? Same tri triangles up there. I'll put a couple little doodads in there just for you so you can see. So here's point B right there, our point of interest, okay? And what am I going to move to B? I'm going to move 100 kips in the Y. Okay, so here he is. 100 kips, and I'm going to move 223.2 kips in the X, 223.2 kips, okay? Now the problem, you got to you got to really read these problems, but the problem might say, what's the magnitude of that single force, right? Because you might say, oh, but there's not a single force, there's two forces. Well, there, how easy is that for us, because we're really good? to make that into a single force, right? 100 squared plus 223 squared square root, bam, and I got this resultant force, right? You wanna know what angle it's at? Uh, inverse tan of 100 over 223, bam, I got that too, right? Okay, so even though it's an X and a Y, you can think of it as a single force, right? Okay, I'm gonna leave it broken into components because that's the way I, that's the way I like it. Okay, tell me this, my friends. What does that right there mean? What does that mean? Well, piece of cake, man. Negative just means that that moment is clockwise. That's all it means. Okay, so what, here you go. Ready? There's a clockwise moment around point B, and how big is it? 1189.23 kip feet. Okay, there you go. So, if they ask me for a force couple system, here's my system two, okay? I would give you that and say, bam, we are done. So if you give me number four, number one, if that's what you're asking me for, we're done at this point, okay? Because there's your force, and there's your couple, and we took all of this junk here, and there's the equivalent, right? Do you believe that that equals that? Well, the forces in the X are the same, the forces in the Ys are the same, the moment about B is the same, everything's the same. So this and this are equivalent, okay? But in this case, we asked for a force-only system, right? It says force-only right there, okay? That's what we're looking for. So we're going to take it a little bit farther, and we're going to go to system three. Okay, so here's system three. Same thing, okay? But now we gotta get rid of that moment. We want a force only, okay? So here's line B, E, okay? So if I take that force, here's that, here's that resultant force. What if I slid it up to there? Oh, what if I slide it up to there? Oh, what if I slide it up to there, okay? I don't know where it goes. Let's just say it goes right here, okay? There he is. And do you want to know how big that is? I'll tell you how big that is if I can make my calculator turn back on. All right. Okay. That, that is 100 squared plus 223.2 squared, and then square root of that, right? Okay, and that is, oh, syntax error. What? Oh. It didn't like what I put in there. 100 squared plus 223.2 squared equals square root, answer equals. Okay, 244.57. This guy is 244.57. Well, 
If I put my finger at B, doesn't that guy times some kind of distance here, right? We'll call it D, okay? Doesn't he make a moment, a clockwise moment even, which is what I need, about point B? The answer is, yes, he does. The question is, what is D? Because that's what they want us to know. What is the distance on the line of action of this line right here, right? Where does the line of action of this force cross that axis, okay? Well, look here. Moment is equal to force times distance, okay? The moment's easy. It's 1189.23, okay? Here's D, and the question is, what is F? What do I put in the brackets? What do I put there? Okay. How many of you want to put 244.57 in there? I hope none of you said so because that would be the wrong thing to put in there. Okay. Because look at your forces, right? This 244 is made out of what? It's made out of this and it's made out of that, right? This guy's 100 and this guy's 223. Okay. How much moment about point B is the 100 making? Let's follow him. Chicka, 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 bam. None. Guess who's doing all the work? The 223.2 is making all the moment, right? That's the biggest mistake I see is people using this in there. That would be wrong, okay? The answer is 223.2 goes in there. Okay, and of course that's in kips. I didn't put my units on there, a thousand points off for me, right? This is in kips. And this over here is in foot kips. So when I divide that into that, I'm going to be left with feet. And let's see what we get. 1189.23 divided by 223.2 equals 5.32. So D is equal to 5.32 feet. And that, my friends, that's the answer, okay? System one is equal to system two is equal to system three. System three just has one force on it. That's it, no moment, right? But the moment about B is the same in that one as it is in that one as it is in that one, right? How cool is that? It's so easy, right? Do we have to have more, like step five, right? Step five could be like slide, the force until it makes correct amount of moment. Okay? And that is moment equals force times distance, right? There's our equation. Okay? So there you go. Not too hard. Now, here's a note to you, one note before I leave you. Don't be afraid. This one is nine, right? So five is like somewhere in here somewhere, right? Don't be afraid if, if your answer comes out to up here. It doesn't necessarily have to be on the part, okay? Sometimes it may be up here, but that line of action, right, goes on and on forever, right? So it may actually cross it up here with that single force. So don't let that scare you. It's not always on the part, okay? That's it. Equivalent systems. How smart are we now? Bring it on. Come on now. All right, see you next time.